What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So we've talked about this extension a little bit in the past, but I want to maybe go through some more practical applications of how you could use it um, moving forward. So today's extension that we're going to talk about is InnerAuth Upright Extruder. And so basically what it is, is it's an extension that forces your objects when you extrude them along a curving path to maintain their upright orientation. So um, if you've ever used the follow me tool to extrude something along a curving path, you might have seen some kind of crazy results. Well, uh, we want to talk about how to use this extension practically in order to generate results that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So you can download this extension for free. I will link to it in the notes down below. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. If you want to vote on the extension that I cover on this channel every week, uh, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below in order to support the show. But um, for now, um, what I want to do is I'm actually going to use the extension Helix Along Curve, which I will link to in the notes down below as well, just to kind of show you some examples of how we might use this extension. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a line and then I'm going to draw a helix using helix along curve and we'll say that it'll go maybe like five laps or something like that um, just to give us kind of a baseline for how we might use this extension and I'm going to make a copy of it I'll erase out this edge and we're going to explode both of these so that they're actual geometry instead of groups and so sometimes what you might want to do for a number of different reasons is you might want to extrude an object along this path so for example let's say that I wanted to extrude just like a rectangular shape along this path so if we were to draw a rectangle and then I'll just tap the I'll just tap the right arrow key then tap the control key to draw this from center. But let's say that I wanted to basically take this little rectangular shape like this and extrude it along this path. So if we were to do that right now using the base follow me tool, what happens is you start losing your orientation. And let's make this just a bit bigger so you can see it. But as this goes, what happens is it starts acting kind of weird. So notice how this isn't really maintaining that same upright orientation. And so if we were to look at this like straight up and down, for example, what you're gonna notice is you don't get like a uniform orientation, right? Like over here, it's flat. Over here, this is kind of turned up. So the way that it's turned up, um, isn't exactly what you want. It's not maintaining this shape that you're extruding being straight up and down, right? So what this extension does is if I was to draw that same rectangle over here and let's tap the right arrow key and then hit the control key. So we'll do the same thing over here and I'll draw the same kind of profile. Well, what this extension does is this maintains that upright orientation. And so the way that it does that is you select the edges right here, and then you also do a shift click and select the face, and then you click on this. And so what this is gonna do, and uh, we'll mess around more with this in a second, is notice how this is uniform. So it's not exactly what we're looking for quite yet, but notice how for each one of these curves, this is the same orientation. So it maintains that upright orientation of this face just like this. And so that can be valuable because that allows you to kind of force the way that this is going to be oriented to stay at a certain level. And so that can be helpful, um, especially if you're creating like any kind of curving shapes or anything like that. Um, you can use this extension in order to do that. And so one thing I want to point out that I haven't really talked about before when I've talked about this extension is the ability to set your coordinates or your upright vector. So the second option allows you to set which ones of these um, remain upright. So in this situation, for example, on something like this, I probably only want to keep the Z axis upright, right? So the only thing I want to keep upright is the things running up and down. So that's going to allow this to most closely follow the shape like this, but notice that as it extrudes this, it keeps the orientation of that rectangle straight up and down all the way through. And so that gets a little bit weird when you've got something like this with multiple curves, but let's say that we wanted to create a light fixture that runs along this and we'll create a helix real quick that only makes like one lap. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. I think I actually want my radius to be bigger, so. 
something like this. So let's say that I was to come in here and I wanted to create a light fixture that kind of runs along this edge. Well, if I was to do this with the stock follow me tool, and we'll make a copy of this and move it off to the side. If I was to do this with the stock follow me tool and create something that faces forward, we'll go ahead and explode this. And then extrude this along this path. Notice that by the end of this, what this has done is this has twisted this all around, right? So this is 100%. This is not maintaining the orientation of this front object right here. However, if we were to do the same thing over here with Inroth Upright Extruder, what this would do is this would take this shape and it would allow me to force it to maintain that vertical orientation. So if I was to explode this, and um, one thing you can do is you can come in here and you can set the vector by coordinates. And so what I can do is I can tell it that I want it to maintain the Z axis, the straight up and down on this. And let's go ahead and make a copy because I'm gonna do this twice. But for this first setting, if I was to run this, you can see how what that does is that maintains that Z axis orientation all the way through. So I get this kind of like smooth face that faces down the entire time. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you could force it to maintain both the Z and the red axis by setting a vector over there and clicking on OK. And so you can see how if you look at this with parallel projection turned on, this maintained that orientation even more. So over, over here, you can see how you got a little bit of twist because you didn't tell it to maintain the red axis orientation. Well, over here, um, this is flatter because you told it to maintain this orientation and so it brought this whole thing around um, when it created this curve. So you can use this to really kind of force those edges to maintain that straight up and down. And then let's say you were to move into a rendering engine or something like this, you could create this face as an emitter um, and you could use that to emit light. So you can use this to create these more complex shapes by forcing this to maintain that vertical orientation. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, there's very specific use cases for this extension, but I really like it for keeping that vertical orientation as things bend and twist. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you might use this for. Um, if you've tried it before, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketches up content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.